Then to this, I'm gonna um, season it with salt to taste. I use pink Himalayan salt, my favorite. And I'm gonna cook it over medium heat. I like to let, so let it brown. So go ahead and stir it. Now to that, I'm gonna add sofrito. And here we have the black pepper and the oregano. Just to make sure, you know, you're trying to get the flavor as even as possible. You want every bite to be scrumptious. Now I added a little more salt because as I turn the meat, I, I just add a little more. That's how I do it. You can definitely measure it, but it is to taste. So what I do instead of draining it, I let it cook off in there. So you can reduce the heat depending on you know how high the heat is on your stove. Now remember, you can add any spices you'd like. You can see the juices have begun to boil off. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add spaghetti sauce. And here is a can of crushed tomatoes organic as well. And this is just a quick way to make the meat sauce to make it seem more authentic instead of it's just a quick easy way to do it and it tastes amazing give it a good stir it's good doesn't it? it smells amazing and look at that very thick sauce if you like it more saucy go ahead and add more more sauce or reduce the amount of meat you have now here i'm going to show you how to do the um, how to cook the noodles they're zoodles, zucchini noodles if you didn't know. Now what I'm doing is basically sauteing it and as you can see I use the, the coconut oil spray and I add a little bit of salt and pepper, not too much. Most of my flavor is going to be from the meat sauce. So I cook it three to five minutes basically until it's tender, you don't want it mushy. So that's why I keep turning it just to get a feel for how tender it is. And once that's completed then guess what? We get to plate it. It actually tastes really good. Look at that. Nice, it's ready. There you go. And then we add our sauce, and it's so delicious. Everyone loves it.